And here we go again, it's chapter 9, video 1, on how to overlay KML, KMZ files into Google Earth Studio. We're going to use an example here which is the London Marathon. So if you are absolutely brand new to KMLs, here's an example where I've made a video earlier on my channel, I will link to it, where uh, KML stands for Keyhole Markup Language, and it means we can add things like extruded polygons over the, here's one of the, the the pentagon it's a polygon which is um, a shape top right is the google plex in mountain view and we've got a place mark and polygons if we look really closely to that one what you can do is you can add shapes and words and little icons in green here and you can see that there's a floating place mark and um things like that really and that's what it looks like it's really helpful to label stuff up here's one uh, in the grand canyon which is an absolute and relative path and here's another one uh, uh yeah i think this is grand canyon which is a tessellated and untessellated path what it means is um it's the way it hugs the um topography so as an example here and this is an absolute early early start if you know nothing about KML, how can we use them as fast as possible? We can go away and we can simply Google, in this example, London Marathon KML KMZ. And the first hit that came in was from a website called Racedrone, and it had this KML file, which you download. And on the right-hand side, you can see I've downloaded it, and it instantly gets picked up as that's a possible use in Google Earth Pro. Now, you could use it in Google Earth Pro if you choose to do that as a a checker if you like it opens up like this and so what you see is there are tons of little fiddly bits uh red start blue starts green starts all the way with different lines and it makes up something that looks like this now you could change those files change the colors various things with it or you could just skip that step all together and go directly into earth studio so how do we actually do that so here's a brand new timeline we can go in and i'm bringing up my file explorer there it is and what I've found is that you can actually file import um, KMLs or you can do overlays import KMLs. But I've just found out by, again, by accident from investigating that I've got my Windows File Explorer here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to get the file and I'm literally going to drag it and drop it into my Chrome window, which happens to be um, Google Earth Studio. And you can see all of those things instantly have become available nothing's happened on the viewport so i suggest what we actually do is double click london marathon and we can instantly see and i'm just going to take the overlay panel uh no actually i will leave it there because what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and you can see for an example that you can now start to create a route looking at various things now what i'll notice on this and this is just as an idea how we can turn them on and off and i'm just looking actually very there we go the, the three starts. Now if I turn all of those places off, you can see that, actually they've stayed on, why is that? Oh I see, because there's a ton of them, that's why. So let's turn them all off and you'll notice, actually they've stayed on as well. Interesting. So because they're in this particular example, oh, I've done it twice, that's actually why. So, so what I'm getting at is that you can decide that you want to show or hide any particular one at a time or you can put them all back on again so at the end of the day if I just close that uh, panel just to so I can see I could actually start off I could say right here's the London Marathon if I want to start off I could say let's keyframe that and then move up to say over here let's keyframe that as well uh, then let's bend round a little bit by here and I hope I'm demonstrating this in a really, really easy way. So, so what we've got so far, look, is if you go in and you play that, what you've got is an animation that comes in, bends around, not perfect by any means, is it? And we can carry on animating. But what we've done is we've managed to populate the um, London area with the marathon route immediately through uh, quite complex and uh, decent KML files that we, we as users didn't create, somebody else did. You know, they were created for us. And if you go right the way down, look, you can find maybe at the end of your animation, you can go down and you find the 
finish just in front of Buckingham Palace on the mouse. So we can carry on like this, we can animate, animate, go and render and make your lovely file and then we can go back and we can say how did we actually do that? We created the whole thing, look, just by googling. So we had a file which was it happened to be a KML. KMZ is a keyhole markup zip file which includes other things like images and bits and pieces that come in that. Uh, final checker is if you want to have a look at the Google Earth Studio overlays and KML page I'll link it in the box and there is extra information remember this is quite new but it's pretty well supported at the moment so that's another one ticked off see you in the next one